Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be advancing upon the previous video I did on creating a Gmod prop hunt type system in which we can look at an object and transform into it. And today, we're going to be advancing upon it by making sure this is replicated to so work in online multiplayer as well. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So you can see I have two players in the game. Let me just move them both over to these objects here. And what I can do is I can press E to transform into them like I could in the previous video. And you can see we've now transformed on both client side and server side as well. So all the players see all of the different objects which we're transforming into like so. So again, this will now work in multiplayer if you want, if you want to actually make a Gmod prop hunt type game like this. So we can transform into all of them in any one which we want to and we choose. Again, we set up this main mechanic of transforming in the previous video, which I'll leave a link to in the description down below. And today we're going to be going and replicating this so it works for both server and client so we can use this in multiplayer as well. So this is what we're making today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your character blueprint as that is where we created the code in the previous video. So for me that's content, third person BP, blueprints, third person character. And again you should have all of this code already as that's what we set up last time. What we want to do is we want to go to the very end of the code where we have the set skills or mesh as this right here is what we want to replicate, we're replicating the set skeletal mesh. So we're just going to drag this out down here and disconnect everything from it like so. And we're just going to delete the mesh there. Now we're going to right click and add a custom event, naming this one set mesh or transform or whatever you like on client. So I have it set mesh on client and then we're going to set the replicates from not replicated to multicast as that is going to run it on all the servers and clients as you can see there executes on all. In this what we're going to do is drag the target from the set skeleton mesh into there and the new mesh into there as well and just disconnect those and that's just so we can quickly and easily add in the target and new mesh as inputs onto this custom event here. Then underneath this we're going to right click and add another custom event naming this one set mesh on server so we have one for the client and now we have one for the server as well and we're going to change the replicates on this from not replicated to run on server. So this one is only running on the server and we're going to do the exact same thing again so we can get the target and new mesh as inputs on there quickly and easily like so. Then let's do the client side first. So come out of the execution and get a switch has authority and as remote we're going to go into the set skeletal mesh there. Not authority just as remote because that means this is the client. Authority is the server. So the target will connect into the target and new mesh as new mesh there like so. So we can simply input what we want the target and new mesh to be when we call this custom event here. I'm just going to double click these to get some root nodes just to keep it nice and organized like so. Then underneath this on transform on server, we're going to do something similar. So we're going to again get the switch has authority node. This time we want to come out of authority as it is for the server, but we're not going to go straight into set skeletal mesh. What we're going to do is hold down S and left click to get a sequence, again going into authority. Then zero is going to go into set mesh on client. So call function set mesh on client like so. Again inputting the target and new mesh like so. The top target can stay as self as that is just the blueprint which it's referencing from. And I'm just, again I'm just going to make these nice and neat and organized. And then one is going to go into the set skeletal mesh up here. So again set mesh on server, switch has authority, authority goes into a sequence with then zero going to set mesh on client so it's calling this event up here and then one going to just the set skeletal mesh. Now you want to make sure the sequence is this way around because we do need to call this function just before we set the mesh as well so we do have something inside of these inputs. So it's only a millisecond quicker but it is quicker which is the important thing because again that way we have the inputs into here so it can access what it needs to set the mesh to and on which mesh as well. So again this is how we're going to do it. So you notice that it is slightly different from setting static mesh or doing anything else really on replication. For some reason skeletal mesh is a little bit more complicated it needs a bit more code to it. So again we need to set the mesh on client and on the server as you normally would but we need to do it slightly differently this way around. And to actually call this and start it what we need to do is back up after this cast come off of the execution and simply call function set mesh on server. Target being the mesh that we have here, so let me just drag mesh because that is the skeletal mesh we want to set and the new mesh being the skeletal mesh there. So again, this is now incorporated working perfectly with our code we did in the previous video. So it's going to call the set mesh on server 
and you can see it's then going to set the skeleton mesh and set the mesh on client and do everything we need. So we'll compile, save and hit play to test this out and we again walk over to these different objects around here that we're going to transform into. So you can see on the left hand screen is the client and the right hand screen is server and you can see that at the top here, client and server. So let me test the client first, I can transform into this object here. On both screens and monitors we have changed and we can move about like so and we can do that for all of these different objects like this. Everything we want does work how we'd expect it to as well and this should work for the server as well. It can change into all of these different objects as you can see here. So I can do this like that. So I think that'll be it for this video which we've done everything we want to do. We've set up so we've replicated our transform into any object we want mechanic which we set up in the previous video which again is similar to prop hunt and so because it's similar to prop hunt we thought we may as well make it online multiplayer so if you did want to make a mini game like prop hunt or anything along these lines you can do very easily like so because we've now replicated it so it will work perfectly on online multiplayer as well if you wanted to so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one